Hello guys, today let's make an effect that looks like a tentacle monster. So first, we need a static mesh, a spiral, and its UV also a plant's UV. Then we need a noise texture, water caustics. You can download this for free in my Patreon. Ok, now let's create a material. The first step is still the same, translucent and lead to sided. Then we need water caustics texture and make a desired effect for the texture. It's also the same way, so let's fast forward here. Ok, we get the noise effect after the sort. Next, let's create a sound mask for it. Ok, at this point our mask is finished, then we multiply it by the particle color, alpha. Also we need a depth feed, and connect it to opacity. Ok, and its emissive color we don't need too many changes. Just give it a mask here. Then we need to drive HDR from LDR. Use RGB multiply by the mask is our HDR tint. Ok, connect it to emissive color. Finally, is world position offset. This time we use the world position offset is very simple. Just use a material function, a function that comes with the engine. We can change these two values to control the spiral's width. Since our first dynamic parameter only has one parameter left to use, so we change its dynamic parameter index to 1 and rename this parameter. Ok, we are done the material. Save it. Now let's create a Niagara. First, we need a mesh render. Use our static mesh, sparrow, and our material. Then let's add spawn rate 100. Ok, we can see its particle. Then let's set its left time, a random left time, 1 to 2. Ok, and color, we can set a right color, 1000, 1, 0 0.2. Ok, and mesh scale mode, also random uniform, 1 to 3. Now we need a random orientation. Just add an initial mesh orientation. We don't need any change. Also, we need a shape location. We need a sphere, ok. And sphere radius is 300. And make sure particles spawn only on the surface of our sphere. 
Then we add a velocity from point. Okay. In particle update, we need scale mesh size. Vector from float, we need a curve. 0 to 1. And scale curve, we can add a random range. Mean is 0 0.7. Max is 1.5. Then we add scale color. Of course, we need a curve, but here we use 0 to 1 to 0 and make key data is 0 0.2, the value is 1. And scale alpha, we can copy the curve. Then let's add update mesh orientation. We need a random rotation vector, negative 1 to 1, and the rotation rate may be slower, 0 0.2. Finally, let's add dynamic material parameter. Okay, speed and offset are random range value. As for speed, a range of 0 0.5 to 2. Offset is 0 to 1. Mask is also a curve from 0 to 1. Okay, index 1. Face width, we can set it to 100. Uh, since the value of our opacity setting is low, so it doesn't look very clear, we can increase scale curve in alpha. Change it to 100. Yeah, it looks clear. We can give base weights a little more. 300 or 500. And the tip controls the top weight of the spiral. If we change it to 500 as well, we can see that its top weights have increased. Here we just set it to 0, looks better. And then in mesh render, we change its sort mode to wheel distance. Ok, let's see the effect in the level. Not bad, but we still need some changes. Scale alpha, we change it to 1000. And the color, 10,000. Yeah, it looks better. And this way, we can add a curve. 1 to 0 0.5. And scale curve, maybe 400. Okay, then let's copy this emitter. This time, we create a black effect. It's also very simple, just change scale RGB to 0. Now we get black effect. And scale mesh size, we can set scale curve to 1.5 to 2.5. Spawn rate also 20. In dynamic parameter, base width maybe 800. Ok, let's see it in the level. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.